Hey everyone, my name is Lancelot Archer. Welcome back to Destiny. It's Friday, which means it's Zer Day. So Zer today comes to us via the Tower Hangar. So if you make your way to the hangar, go down the bottom of the stairs, take a right, he will be here in the corner. So let's see what our man has today. Alright. Okay, so we have a Legacy Engram for the Special Weapon. Okay, it's rolling at 31 strange coins again, still way too expensive. Next, we have the Crest of Alpha Loopy for the Titan. This is rolling an, an, uh, an Intellect Strength roll. So this is an Intellect rolling out at 79 max, Strength at 84 max. So the Loopy Chest is a perk has Supers, Generate an Extra Orb, Revive and Be Revived Faster. So this one also comes with Increased Amount of Pulse Rifle Ammunition you carry, Increased Recovery for 5 seconds after taking Solar Splash Damage. So obviously if you don't know what this is, this is mostly used in Trials for if you want to get quick resin going. So it's still a good chest, also it could be useful when doing the raid, especially challenge mode, if you need to generate more orbs when doing orb gen, this is not a bad one to do for the titans. Alright, next we have the Shinobu's Vow for the Hunter. This is a sh Discipline Strength roll, this is rolling in at a max of 58 for Discipline and a max of 56 for Strength. This one is the Gauntlet that gives improved skip grenades and gain ad additional skip grenade charge. So it also has increased grenade throw distance with increased reload speed with auto rifles. So for those of you who know what this does, this essentially is if you're an art blader and you've got those ridiculous skip grenades, this will give you two that will send you follow you around the map. So this is more of a PvP style gauntlet or uh, exotic to be used. But you know, it, I've seen it used in other things, but it's not exactly what you would use for PvE. It's more a PvP thing, which I hate these skip grenades. Anyway, moving on, we have the ram for the warlock. This is purely a strength roll only helmet. So this is maxing at 98. All right. So the perk for this one is gain increased armor and all void walker melee attacks trigger life steal on hit. It also comes with gain bonus super energy for melee kills of minions of the darkness. Gain bonus melee energy on all pickups. So for those of you who remember, this was on sale a couple of weeks ago. The RAM was, back in year one, was that ridiculous helmet that if you were running it, you had more armor than than you needed. So you could essentially, in Trials of Osiris, survive a headshot, or a resing headshot. So you'd be left with the minimum amount of life, but it would survive it still nonetheless. So that was the RAM. Obviously they've tweaked it since then, so now pretty much anyone can die on a res. Snipe no matter if they've got the RAM or not. Alright, and then the weapon of the week is the Invective. So this is a obviously the solo solar power shotgun, which could regen ammo over time. It's a lot slower to regen ammo than, say, for something like the Icebreaker. So you won't see many people running the Invective anymore, just because obviously with the rate special ammo spawns and the rate of this generates ammo, you're better off just running in and grabbing a box of heavy ammo, oh, sorry, a box of special ammo from when they spawn every minute. Um, but yeah, so that's the weapons of the week. Alright, so we have the weapon bundles, which were discovered, which Zer started selling last week. So, let's see what we have. We have the Truth and Heart of Gold. So, this is at 30 strange coins and silver dust of 25. And then we have the Invective with the Storm's Reproach. Same pricing, 30 strange coins with 25 silver dust. So, these are the new ones. It's a bit weird. I would have thought they've had something different, because in the Invectives here with an ornament. So essentially you've given it twice. So that's, that's a wasted opportunity there. They could have thrown another weapon in instead of the invective with an ornament. That's strange. But anyway, all right, so next we then obviously have the curuses. So you've got the drives, the have ammo synths, the three of coins, and your glass needles. Obviously you use the glass needles if you want to re-roll any, any of the perks on an exotic. So for example, if you wanted to re-roll the ram for say an intellect discipline or intellect strength or discipline strength, you can do so that's an option. The Shinobi's Valve, same thing, and Loopy if you wish to. And then afterwards we have the material exchange. So that's what we have for Zer for this week. Um, let me just double check to see how we are in the tier 12 section. Oh, and the book is still broken. Alright, and there's where be Zer? Oh, here we are. Alright, so, oh, that's not bad actually. So, the Shinobu's Vow apparently is a tier 12 one. It is a 98% roll. So, if you haven't got these, definitely pick these up. I might actually pick these up as my actual Shinobu's Vows on my Hunter aren't that good. So, maybe that's worth it. 
food for thought. So if you're a hunter or you're looking for, or if you've got a hunter class and you're trying to see if you can get that character to tier 12, definitely pick up these. It's probably the best one out of the lot. Loopy is a 93% roll. Unfortunately, the Ram is a 86% roll. So not a good week in terms of the Warlock. Uh, Hunter's got a good arms this week. And Loopy's not bad this week as well. Okay. So that is it for Zer this week. Um, as you, some of you, oh, he's got that cool cloak. I want that cloak. So to get that cloak, you essentially need to uh, complete your Age of Triumph quest line. So if you're with your main characters, you need to complete all the ones that the speaker gives to you, and then he gives you a 400 cloak at the end. Oh, and he's got the Fate Bringer as well. Um, but yeah, so obviously this week is the Vo Vault of Glass um, raid with the two challenge modes, which yesterday I managed to complete for the first time on my main character and I'm not going to lie it was a tough challenge to get this to sync we had so many things that go wrong and glitch with us but I think it will go well with my alt characters so just give you a quick overview of what my boy looks like ta da three out of the four oh actually yes yeah, three out of the of the of the vault gear that I have for armor I actually have the ornament so let me just quickly throw that on not ornament sorry the class item which you can actually um, put an ornament onto. So this is the the cloak that not cloak the chest piece that everyone's been after. As you can see, I'm also holding the Athens Epilogue Adept. Welcome back. It's still good. I also have the Vision of Confluence Adept and the Vex, which I got yesterday after completing. Um, I did not get the sniper rifle yet. I want my Prades Revenge back. I love that sniper rifle. Uh, I got corrective measure, which is nice to see back. And I also got the Templar shell, which apparently these are really hard to. They're dropping quite rarely. So if you get the Knuckles of AR, which obviously increases your drop rate, they, it's best to use it towards the end boss because you have a higher chance of getting better gear. That's what I found and what I've discovered watching a few, few people on other videos as well. So yeah, this is what the VOG stuff looks like. And my god, it looks good. So good. Okay, right. So that was Zerf for this week. Hopefully you all had a good weekend. Pick up the stuff that you don't have if you haven't got it already, just to complete your collection's sake. If you're looking to build your tier 12, the Hunter Gloves are your best way to go. And hopefully I hope you all have a great weekend, and I hope you all get the stuff you want from VOG as well. Anyway, have a great weekend. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and bye.